If you watch the video on Rishenka's eggs, where do you think the setting of the story is? Can you tell by looking at the pictures, what people are wearing, the buildings you see, and hearing the story, the cities it talks about, the names, can you tell where it takes place or can you guess? If you can't guess, you know I'll just tell you. This story is set in Moscow, Russia. In Moscow, there is a beautiful cathedral or huge old church called St. Basil's Cathedral. It's a beautiful building that was finished long ago in 1561 under Ivan the Terrible. What a crazy name. It sounded like a terrible dude, I guess, but this building is amazing, isn't it? I'm blown away by all the bright colors and patterns and textures and especially those onion domes. The onion domes are the pointy top part of the towers. They look like onions. That's why they're called onion domes. Some people think that St. Basil's Cathedral has onion domes on top of the towers so that they look like burning candles. So cool. Nowadays, St. Basil's is not a church. It's a museum where people can go check it out if they visit Moscow. I would love to go see it one day. Until then, let's make our own small scale or little version of St. Basil's. To make the entire building like I did, you'll need some toilet paper tubes or paper towel tubes for the towers and a just right size box for the building. It's okay if you can only make the towers. They look really cool by themselves too. Okay, so let's start by making the towers. Your first job is to color your teepee rolls or your paper towel rolls. You can use paint, any kind, markers, or even a black ballpoint pen to add some designs all the way around the tube from top to bottom. Once you're done coloring all of your tubes, it's time to make the onion domes. You're gonna need paper, any kind will do. I got lucky and I have these bright scrap papers that are bright colors already. You might wanna decorate your paper if you're stuck with white paper. Your job is to cut the paper into four equally sized hearts for each onion dome you wanna make. Four hearts for each onion dome. So take the paper and make a fold on the long side. Then draw a couple big roller coaster hills that touch the folded edge. When you draw them, try to draw them exactly the same size. Now it's time to cut out your roller coaster shapes. You'll see that when you unfold them, they make little heart shapes. You may have done something like this before to make a Valentine's Day card. Remember, you need four heart shapes to make each onion dome. I cut a bunch so that I would have enough to make three onion domes. Each onion dome needs four hearts, so three times four is 12. Now it's time to put the hearts together to make the onion dome. I'm gonna show you three different tools to use to do this, depending on what you have at home. A stapler is the best and easiest thing to use. I will also show you how to use tape, the next best, and glue, which is the hardest to use. Whatever you have, use it. If you have a stapler, that'd be awesome, but I know everybody doesn't have a stapler. So I wanted to give you lots of options so you can get this done with whatever you have at your house. Let's see how to use the stapler first. Pick out four hearts and lay them on top of each other so that their points match up. Then, right on the line in the middle, put two or three staples that go up and down right along the folded line. Next, take the stapled stack of hearts and start turning the pages of the hearts, kind of like a book. Bend the pages back and forth so that they stick out evenly in all directions to make the shape of an onion dome. It might take some problem solving. Now let's talk tape. Get four pieces of tape torn off 
before you start and stick them to the table so that you can easily grab them when you need them. Take four hearts to use for this onion dome. Just take two hearts at first and fold them back up. Then lay them side by side so they make a whole heart together and tape down the middle. Fold over one of the hearts on top of the other one so that it only looks like a half a heart. Take a new heart shape and fold it in half. Match it up with your first set so it makes a complete heart. Tape down the middle and repeat one more time for the last heart. Spread out the pages of the heart so that they stick out all around and make an onion dome. Let's see how to make glue do the job. Pick out four hearts again, lay out your first heart, and put glue down the middle line. Place another heart on top with the points matching. Draw another line of glue on top of that heart. Add another one on top. One more glue line and one more heart. Now let it dry for at least 10 minutes. Once it's had a chance to dry, you can spread out the pages into an onion dome. Okay, everyone, I have three towers and three onion domes. Now I just need to put them together. It's kind of cool because we're not gonna use glue to make these onion domes stay on top. Here's how we're gonna do it. Take a pair of scissors and cut the edge of the toilet paper tube eight times. I like to do two right across from each other first. Then I make two more cuts right in the middle of the first two cuts I made. Lastly, I fill in four more cuts all around the top of the tube right in the middle of the first four. This way I can make the cuts equally far away from each other. Next, take an onion dome and insert the pages of the heart into the slots you cut in the tube. This part is challenging, but just keep trying and go one page at a time. There should be eight cuts and eight pages, so every page should have a home slot. Once you have that done, the onion dome will stay right on top. Since I made three onion domes, I'm gonna do the same thing with all of them. If you have a box that's the right size and the time, you can use it to be the main building of the castle or the cathedral. I painted my box to match my towers and I didn't bother to paint the inside or the bottom of the box because no one's gonna see that part. Why not save the paint and the time? There are a couple different ways to get the towers attached to the box building. The first way is to cut two slots into the bottom of the tube, one on each side, and then slide the tower onto a flap of the cardboard box. So that's a great way to put the tubes on a thin piece of cardboard, but if you want them to sit on top of the box like that, cut all around the bottom of your tube eight times again, just like when you added the onion dome, but this time you're gonna fold in the tabs that you created. This is gonna make a nice spot where we can put glue and it's a flat area so we can place it right on top of the box. So once that's done, add a nice big amount of glue to the flattened area and press on top. You have gotta be patient with this way to add the towers. Glue takes a minute to dry. You might have to hold it for a long time or prop it up against something while it dries. If it doesn't work at first, keep trying. More glue, turn the box. Add uh, tape instead. Keep problem solving. I hope you make a lot of mistakes and learn a lot while you make this cathedral or castle. And please let me know how it goes on Flipgrid. See you later.